hey guys how are you doing so this video is gonna be about how to create your own blade with ashes so for that the best way would be to use an existing blade as a template so that's what i'm gonna do here if i open this uh, blade database by clicking on this icon i find the blades that are already in ashes these three blades they come with ashes by default this one i just created myself so you probably don't have it but let's say that you have this blade here. Um, so when I click export blade, there are three options. This one we're not gonna we're not gonna pay too much attention to. This is just if you want to export your blade in a format that can be opened by a CAD software. So that's for later. Um, but right now you could export the shape or the structure to Ashes uh, file formats. The the principle is the same. So I'm just gonna show you with uh, with the shape. So I can export the shape and I'm going to call this, I don't know, my blade, for example. Okay, I'm on a German keyboard, so I don't know where the Y is, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, so this is how the blade shape looks like. So that's the blade that I exported. So, so this blade, this is a blade that I didn't create myself. But if I had created my own blade and I had, for example, different twist angles here, then I would just come here and modify the twist angle and say, I don't know, that this twist angle should be 25, for example, that this one here should be, I don't know, 2 or something. So this, this is things that you would have done with your, own, uh, with your own blade. Same here, that's the chord length. So I can say that this one is, I don't know, 5, for example. This one is 10. I am putting a realistic value so that you can, uh, you can really see the difference when, when I import it. Uh, and this here, this is the blade span. So right now my blade is uh, 61.5 meters long. Again, these are things that you could change. If you don't know what these uh, these parameters mean, please check the, the user manual. They're explained here. Okay, so now let's assume that uh, I have put my own values here. So this is now my own blade. So I can save my file and go back to ashes here. And now what I will do is to add a blade and import from file. So this was the blade that I just created and I will open it. Um, so a blade has two things. It has a shape and it has a structure. Right now, I only created the shape. If I wanted to create my own structure, I would do the same thing that I, that I just did with the shape. I would export the structure file and modify it because I don't want to spend time doing this and because that's something that's actually quite complicated another option is to estimate the structure so right now i'm going to estimate my blade structure from the blade length this is probably the the easiest option if you're not too sure how to define a structure a structure file another another option would be to estimate the mass the inertia and the structure from the airfalls but right now i'm just going to select this one so now i can press import and voila, here is my blade. So now you can see the shape of the blade. And what we saw before was that uh, the cord lengths that I was putting was, were quite unrealistic. And you can see it here, or you can also see it here, that this is kind of, uh, this is doing kind of weird. So now I have created my blade, I could come here. And uh, once I have my model here under rotor, come here and say that I want this blade instead and here it is so this is my new blade um, i could start a simulation i guess it's not going to look too too good because of the because of this weird thing here but uh, well at least it's running so well that's it i guess um, if you have any questions or any doubt please send us a mail or or leave a comment and we will reply as soon as we can Thanks a lot for watching and see you around.